How's it going, guys? I'm just chatting with uh, customer support uh, on my website real quick. There's a question I wanted to ask them. I should be done with this in just a second. Uh, these are the coins we're about to work on. So bear with me. I'll be, I'll be getting started here in just a minute or two. How's it going, everybody? Uh, we've got a couple coin rings we're going to work on today. Uh, if at any time during this live you would like to get a coin ring, uh, you can visit coinringmaker.com. You can also uh, tap this gold chain at the bottom of the screen here to check out some of the stuff I make. Or um, tap my logo and then the link in my profile. Alright, so what, what do you think we should do first? We've got a Mercury Dime, a Connecticut Quarter, a New Mexico Quarter, and a really nice looking 1965 Quarter. Like This is really shiny and got good detail. It's going to make a nice ring. What do you guys think? What should we start with? Anybody got an opinion? You can just put it in the comments down here. Let me know what you want to see. Because we're going to make all of them. But I'll let, I'll let somebody pick uh, what we're going to do first. Say so first comment gets to pick. Connecticut, 65, New Mexico, Mercury Dime. I've thought about doing dimes, or, or knives. I've thought about it. All right, we'll do the 65 first. So the first step to uh, do this is to punch a hole in it. So we're gonna go down to the floor. We're making rings. Thanks for the tennis ball. I've never got a tennis ball before. It's too big to fit in here. I'll have to use the other one.
There's our center punch. Clear this out. Of the way. This thing is really heavy. It's also got a lot of oil on it, so it's really slippery. Hello, hello. So you caught me coin ring crafting. This is a 1965 quarter. I'm gonna pop this off of here. Find my hammer real quick. Looking pretty good so far. Move this up a little bit so I stop knocking into it. So, after we punch a hole in a coin, this inside edge is really rough and sharp. So what I do is I take a deburring tool and I cut that away and make it nice and smooth. Let me just figure out where I put it. Uh, no, it's legal. Uh, think about like penny smashers at amusement parks and national parks, museums, where you have to put like 50 cents in and a penny and it squishes a design onto the penny. So like you can turn currency into art. Uh, you just can't like fraudulently alter it. Like, there's a line. Yeah. Thank you for the present. We got like 300 people in here. Uh, if you haven't followed me yet, please consider giving me a follow. Sure helps my little channel grow. Uh, I guess account. You don't really call it a TikTok channel, do you? Yeah, the burr. It's a great little tool. It's got this really sharp blade on here, and then it rotates really nicely. It's just, it's perfect for cleaning up the inside of coins when you're making them into rings. Get my phone stand here. So now we're gonna start the folding process. That's why we're gonna make this kind of flat disc into more of a ring shape. Uh, first thing we use to do that is called a doming block. It's this big heavy thing here. Kind of prop this up. It started out as a hobby. Uh, now it's about 50% of my income. So not quite full-time, but slowly getting there. thing is called a folding die. Super useful tool. I wouldn't say TikTok has given me customers. Uh, it's, it's kind of given me a way to attract more customers, but like I put in the work. Like I made I don't know, like 1,500 videos. Like, it's definitely a good platform for, like, discovery. So we just uh, sand this cut edge here. 
and we'll give you a look at it. See how it's starting to get more of a ring kind of cone shape. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the problem with the uh, the W quarters, or the Washington quarters, is they do get a little wobbly under the dates. So with this one specifically, I'm going to have to stretch it out and reduce it and stretch it until that kind of flattens out. The state quarters, there's no problem there. Like, they fold very nicely, but the Washington quarters are a little trickier. I want to see what size this needs to be real quick. Ten and a half. Thing never wants to stay put. How much was your setup cost originally? Uh, I put in like the first like big group of tools I bought was probably like two hundred and fifty dollars, and that included this one ton arbor press. But over time, I I probably spent quite a bit more than that. But you can start out with just like a ma like a hammer and a mandrel and something to punch a hole in it. You see how it's wavy still? Yeah, we're gonna fix that. I think so. I used to watch a bunch of cornering making videos on YouTube. So it's it's cool to like make them live in front of people. We still got a bit of wave underneath there. So we're just gonna stretch it out some more and then reduce it again. Just kind of go back and forth. Fraudulently defaced currency. If you make art out of it, it's not illegal. It's when you start committing fraud, that's that's when you break the law. It's copper. We're gonna go ahead and heat it up to soften it up a little bit. Uh, so far, I just work with copper and silver. Uh, I want to try and do gold sometime this year. It's just water. Yeah, that's a quench. So heating it up and uh, quenching it, that's a process called annealing. And you can kind of see right here where his, his neck first starts. See how it's kind of thinner than the rest of the band? You really have to watch that spot when you're stretching it. That's the first place for it to start to snap. 
So that's why I'm sanding this down, trying to give it like as much surface area as I really can to hold together. Oh, we stretch it out a little bit more. No, it's just a 65. Now I check all my coins like three times before working on them. Make sure I'm not destroying anything super valuable. I've actually learned a lot about coins over the past like two years, making stuff out of them. Yeah. Learn about coins, currency, it's valuable knowledge. Anybody know what that coin is? Uh, you can buy through the link on my bio by clicking the, uh, the logo at the top of the screen or the gold chain at the bottom of the screen. Uh, you can find all my prices on my website. I make a bunch of different types, so the prices range. Saw two people say a Morgan. Uh, this is eighteen ninety. This is a Morgan dollar. Ninety percent silver. This is one of my favorite coin rings to make. It's really, really a nice ring. Somebody said Susan B. Anthony. That's what this looks like. This is Susan B. Anthony coin ring. And this one's really cool because you can fit In God We Trust on there. You got stars all the way around it, Liberty on the top. It's a pretty cool ring. Thank you. coinringmaker.com. It's the place to go. You can find the store uh, through the link on my profile or the gold chain at the bottom of the screen. Sorry, I'm just eyeballing this. <laughs> we got more stretching to do. Uh, I've been making coin rings for a little over two years. And it's just kind of flying by. Like It's hard to believe I've been doing it that long. But it's a lot of fun. Okay. Yeah, I've got Oklahoma in uh, copper clad and 90% silver. So the copper rings can turn your fingers green. 
That's just kind of a property of copper. Uh, but if you're worried about that, I do offer 90% silver stake quarters as well. Right? Give me just a second. I'll be right go. I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that, guys. Let me see here. Run up the likes before he comes back. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, you can you can buy through the gold chain at the bottom of the screen or tap my logo at the top of the screen and then the link of my profile, and that will take you to my store. All right, man, I'll give you a follow. I'll check out your page. Uh, 1990 quarter is Awesome. I appreciate y'all's support. And uh, even if you're just hanging out and watching, thanks for hanging out and watching. I'll show you it right now. It's at about a size 11. We're going to reduce it down just a little bit. The uh, peace dollar coin rings are $200, but I can do that. Uh, you'd have to pay um, shipping, like return shipping. That's like $4. So it'd be $204. Half dollar rings. 
Uh, the silver ones are 125. Those are Walking Liberty or like 1964 Kennedy. And the copper ones, I haven't looked at them in a while. Let me double check. I have some 2020 uh, copper ones. They're 65. We're going to go ahead and get cracking on the next one here. It's going to be this Connecticut quarter coin ring. It's going to be a size 6. I right, can go down to the floor and punch a hole in it. Pretty cool. I like this one a lot because it's just like it's this big old tree on it. Neat details. Yeah, I can do a bicentennial quarter. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I really enjoy it. And when I first started TikTok, I wasn't sure if like my little niche would fit here, but it's actually done pretty well. You guys have been real nice. I appreciate it. I'm going two years strong. I still like doing it. There's so many different types of coins and stuff, man. Oh, I see, I see. Did you ever get into uh, any other types of jewelry or did you just stick with the coin rings? See how nice and even the state quarters fold? These 1965s are tough. Nice. I actually just got this in the mail today. Let me show you. I know it's got stuff all over, but this is like a spoon bender. So I'm, I'm dipping my toes in a couple different things. I haven't got to play with it yet. It just came in.
I have, I've done one Canadian large scent. Ooh. I don't know, I've done a little bit of stamping. I have trouble like going in a straight line. Like my stamp letters always end up real wonky or the spacing's off. It looks, it looks childish. <laughs> it's tough. And then like the whole thing is a wash like you gotta start over I have thought about getting like an inside ring engraving machine like I think that would be pretty cool I got an engraver but it's like for for like pendants and like really flat stuff so it doesn't work really great on coins and it doesn't work really great on rings but it is a cool piece of, of kit, but it's not really useful for what I work on. So I've tried a couple routes of like personalization and I always run into like really weird walls with it. But there's so much detail on coins. Like I don't really mind just like letting the coin show off itself, you know? There's so much going on here already. What's going on, Ben? Thank you. Yeah, I used to like work in a toy store and I was really good at it. I really liked it. But at the end of the day, you have to straighten shelves and I was just terrible at it. And like everybody would get mad at me because they did it super fast. And I've just never been really great at like putting things in straight lines. So stamps are hard, uh, called straight facing, I think is what it's called. I suck at that, just terrible at it. But this I can do. This I can do. Uh, the setup, you can probably start with like two or three hundred dollars, um, but I've I probably spent a couple thousand on tools. I, I reinvest one third of, of everything spent at my shop on tools so that I can make better stuff for you guys. Uh, size 13, I would recommend like a Walking Liberty half dollar or like a Morgan dollar. Like this uh, I can do quarters to size 13 but the band gets really thin it's really hard to stretch something like this out to a size 13 that's right where I stop after that they look super weird and they start getting thin spots um, so if you want like a really nice uh, thicker band um, I would recommend like a half dollar or a dollar That's smart. Do a wave design instead of a straight line. I'm going to have to give that a try. That's clever. See, with coins, I, I've tried to go, like, along the curved edge of it. So the problem with coins is if you do that, you have to, like, rotate every time, get the spacing, and it's... I don't know. It's really... <laughs> it's harder than it should be. Let's see what the next one is. Looks like it's a New Mexico. There we go. New Mexico. It's gonna be a size nine. So the first thing we gotta do is punch a hole in it. Put it in this little magic contraption here. Hammer down. Cool 
little center punch. How's it going, man? You know what I'm up to. <laughs> Same rings, different day. Sometimes they stick on here and you gotta wiggle it just a little bit. A couple different directions. Work it off. What's the punch called? That's that's a funny question. So this punch, like all great things on eBay, has about 32 names in the title. So I can't even like I can't even tell you. But it is in my recommended tool list. Uh, basically, it's a it's a half inch. That's what this punch size is. Uh, auto center uh, center punch for making coin rings, and then it's like tool tool for coin ring makers. Like it it just goes on and on and on. Like it's a great tool, but and I understand why they do it for like SEO and stuff. But it the name of this thing is is really stupid. Uh, it's just faster. And uh, this is perfect for quarters. Uh, the hydraulic press I use for, for other size coins, like smaller or bigger ones. But if I'm working with quarters, I usually do this. Except the proof ones, because the reeded edge is actually a little wider. So they don't fit in here. Uh, a lot of bicentennials don't fit in here either. They're just a little bit longer than the average quarter. Yeah, I've tried a bunch of different things to get the centers out, but these two work the best. Um, I make keychains out of them. So when you order uh, either on my website by tapping my logo up here or the gold chain at the bottom of the screen, there should be an option called packages. I think I'm going to change it back to options because it doesn't seem like most people are looking at it. But right now it's called packages and you can add a center punch keychain with your ring. Nice little set. I actually designed, like when I was first starting out, I actually designed my own center punch cards to work with the uh, Harbor Freight um, punch and die kit because it works really good, but it's hard to get the coin perfectly centered. So I made these. They're on my website if anybody wants to get them, but I just think that's really cool. These are from like a year and a half ago when I first started out, and there was nothing I could really find that worked. I made something myself. Uh, just after I punch the center through. What's going on, memes? Currently working on a Connecticut quarter coin ring. Sitting at 7,400 likes. Got 434 people watching. It's going pretty well. Am I ready for the spoon? Let me show you. This came in the mail today. This is my um, spoon bender. I know you can't see much of it here. But you move this handle, pushes this thing into a round thing, bends your spoon. It's going to be cool. But I have to do all these orders first. It's like the gold at the end of the rainbow. I have to make a bunch of jewelry so I can make some more jewelry. Uh, if you'd like to learn about the laws around coin ring making, or making jewelry out of coins, there's a blog post on my website about it. 
Uh, you ever seen a penny smasher at an amusement park? Where you put like 50 cents in, and then a penny, and then they like make you physically turn the gears so you're the one doing it. And then you get a cool little design on a flattened out penny. Yeah. I appreciate your concern, but I've I've done my uh, legal research. I've also been doing this publicly on TikTok for over a year. So don't don't worry about it, man. It's it's all good. Hey man, I don't want to have to kick you out. Like, you can stay and watch, but you're being kind of a jerk. It's cool, man. Usually the trolls leave on their own. There's plenty of stuff to watch here on TikTok. If they don't like this, they can leave. He can go watch a guy, you know, peel the shell off an egg or something. And Put some rubber bands on a watermelon. There's there's something for everybody out there. This ain't it for him. That's all right. Don't bother me none. It looks like I've got about 500 people in here enjoying what I'm doing. You know, having a good time. That's what it's about. Sorry, we'll get you a little closer here. How's that look? <laughs> Looks pretty good to me. Let me check the size on it real quick, guys. Gotta make it a little smaller. So we'll do this side. It's like right on the edge of a size nine. It's like a quarter size too big. So I gotta flip it over and reduce it a little bit. I got a little vocal fry today. Do you guys hear that? I got a little vocal fry. Probably need to drink something. So the copper quarter coin rings are $20. The 90% silver quarter coin rings are $100. And I've got quite a few other types of rings and stuff. You can see them on my store website by tapping my logo at the top here and the link on my profile or the gold chain at the bottom. Absolutely not. I think that's freaking awesome, dude. I watch people make jewelry on TikTok all the time. I ain't gonna lie. So close. I'm I'm good on on coins this month. I already bought too many. I do appreciate the offer though, but I'm, I'm good right now. There we go, perfect. 
size nine, New Mexico quarter coin ring. And this will get uh, like tumbled in a tumbler and polished, so it's gonna be even shinier than this, but the detail on it came out really good. Looks really cool. So I'm gonna take a second and see if we got any orders in during this live so far. Doesn't look like it. All right, well, if anyone would like to see a coin ring get made, go ahead and hop over to the website. There's like a gold chain at the bottom of the screen. If you don't see that, you can tap on my logo up here and the link in my profile for hanging out on this live so far. Uh, I wanna give you guys a coupon. You can use the coupon code WELCOME and that'll save you 10% off anything you wanna order. So if you just wanna get a little keychain or like a little pirate coin or like a little penny cowboy hat, uh, that's cool. Uh, if you wanna get a nicer ring, coupon will work for that too. Uh, coupon code's WELCOME, save you 10%. And uh, if I have an order come in here pretty soon, I will make it on the live for you. So I'll give you all a minute to go check out the website. If anyone has any questions, feel free to leave them in the chat. Uh, I try not to do a lot of custom work um, because like sometimes, let me show you. Like mistakes can happen so like you can get rings that split like this and for that reason i don't like working on customers coins because i don't want to be liable for destruction of their property so i much prefer to you know like i don't mind chatting with somebody and being like okay this is the type of coin you want and then i order it myself that way it's my coin and then i work on it for them so i i prefer to work off my own inventory just in case something goes wrong uh, that's really just a personal decision, uh, but that's that's what I'm currently doing. How big I can make a coin ring? Sure. I've got a couple whoppers over here. Yeah, it's legal. Uh, I've got a blog post about it on my website if you'd like to check that out. So this is a 1922 piece dollar. This is a 19 or 1890 Morgan dollar. I'll set that there like that. That looks nice. And this is an American Eagle. look at all those for you I mean at, at some point like you have to understand that not everyone's your ideal customer um, I try not to be super salesy I try to be more about you know the process of making it and if you're interested in buying that's that's totally cool and I do appreciate it but like, I, I'm not going to get upset if you have a problem with my prices. Like, you don't have to buy anything. Like, that's cool. But, like, I've been doing this for two years. Like, I get to set the prices because, like, I do all the work. So I understand what it goes into making these and getting them to you. So, like, that's that's what it costs. It, it is what it is. Like, but I, I understand getting pushback on pricing. Uh, I think I made a size 18, and that was with one of these. This is American Silver Eagle. This is 999 pure silver. So let me show you what the coin looks like. I have one over here. So this is an American Silver Eagle, and this is the ring that comes out of it. And these are the biggest, like, widest bad boys I make. You can see the prices on my website. Uh, I believe these are $300 and then there's a set, like a wedding band set kind of, where you can get two rings from the same coin 
and that is $560. Uh, the Morgan and Peace dollars, these are 200 uh, Copper, like regular old quarter state and pick your year. Coin rings are $20. And 90% uh, silver quarters are $100. Well, you see, it's not quite $19.75 profit. It's $19.75 revenue, right? So, like, I have to pay taxes. There's tool costs. There's labor costs. There's shipping costs. There's unforeseen costs. There's costs in maintaining a website. So, like, there's a lot more that goes into this than just the coin I'm making it out of. Yeah. And again, if anybody's missed this, um, you can use the coupon code WELCOME to save 10% on uh, anything on my website. And if you order right now, I will make your order here on TikTok Live, like in front of everybody. So you'll get to see it get made and you get to save 10%. Uh, that's probably the coolest deal I can offer. So if you wanna take a minute and go check out the website and see if there's anything you like, uh, you can see it get made, right? That's pretty cool. Set these aside over here. And we've got a South Dakota quarter coin ring we're going to be making. This is going to be a size 10 and a half. Sitting at 9,600 likes. You guys think you can get us to 10,000? Think you can do it? Uh, make them into keychains. So if you uh, go to my website, and this is not one to focus at all, but if you go to my website and you check out any of the listings under the package section, you'll be able to add uh, a keychain, like a center punch keychain. Yeah, that's what it's called. We hit 10,000. Thank you guys very much.
knocking stuff around. I'm getting to the point where I've been talking for like an hour straight, so I'm just catching my breath. If anybody has any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. No, it's not illegal. You can make jewelry out of coins. You just can't fraudulently alter currency. So that's really the line there. Think about, like, Penny Smashers at amusement parks. You ever seen them? Those penny flattening machines? This basically falls under the same legal framework as that. Where do you find your ring size? The best thing to do is to go to a jewelry store and have them professionally size you. Uh, it should take you less than five minutes. It should be free and it should be accurate. So it's got like those three bonuses built in and that way you're gonna get the most comfortable ring from me. Totally, not currency anymore. It's jewelry. Don't spend it. So what I'm doing right now, it's just a little difficult to film it, but I'm slowly stretching this ring out on this ring stretcher here. And the problem is I need two hands, and when I try and film it, my phone falls over. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I've made wedding rings. I think you're trying to make a joke. But it's actually pretty cool that people are out there wearing my rings to like represent their marriage. It's pretty sick. Those are probably my favorite ones to do. So right now you can see it's kind of uneven. Like one side's a little wider than the other. So as we reduce this down to the correct ring size, we're also going to straighten the wall up, make it look nicer. Thank you. Yeah, I was reading it and then I saw the uh, crying emoji laughing face, and I was like, okay, she's, they're, they're joking. I mean, if you want to, let me see here. Just leave if you'll let me. There it is. Yeah, just be nice to people. Uh, don't boot them real quick. Try and give people, you know, second, third chance. Unless they're like some weird robot. Just, just spam in the chat. You can get rid of those. <laughs> I haven't one, had one of them in a while, but they're super annoying. Because they usually come in in like three or fours. They're the worst. What do you guys think? I like this like weak going along the side here. Pretty cool. Yeah, he's a mod for my Discord, too. Well, he's on my Discord. Well, I don't know. Did you leave? You were talking about leaving. Oh, I really like the Texas rope. Yeah. Looks good. really locking this in here at a ten and a half. Uh, 
focus is in real nice here at the South Dakota. Pretty cool. And it's got like mountains underneath the wheat. Right on. I mean, right now my Discord server is like, it's it's a ghost town, it's pretty quiet there. So I don't think you're gonna run into any trouble. Uh, if anybody wants to kind of keep a, keep a nice pulse on what's going on here at coinringmaker.com, I do have a Discord, you can find it through the link on my profile. Uh, it says like secret Discord, and then you can click that invite link. Uh, if anyone would like to order a coin ring, um, you can also go through the link on my profile or the gold chain at the bottom of the screen. I like to make customers orders here on TikTok Live. So if that's something you're interested in, go check out the store for a second. Uh, I'm currently all caught up on orders. So I might hop off of here. But if I do get an order here in you know, the next couple minutes, we can, we can make that for you. I mean, I, I understand it looks expensive, but there's two years experience here. There's like thousands of dollars in like tools and stuff. Like it's, and it's not as easy as I make it look like I may make it look really easy, but this took a lot of practice to figure out how to do. On top of that, I have to inventory a ton of coins like, and there's a bunch of back-end costs and taxes, like, it is what it is. Like, you don't have to buy anything if you don't want to, but I, I have my prices the way they are so that I can grow as a business. Um, and if you think that's too much, like, that's, that's cool. I think it works really nice. I wouldn't explain myself your prices are spot on for what you're making I think so and like I mean when I first started out I charged less because like my tools were less expensive my and my rings weren't as nice but like I think for the quality of what you're getting like my prices aren't aren't bad no I don't have any problem getting sales um so like that's why I'm not really bothered I just like, some people have never started a business. Like, when I first started out, I had no idea what it, what it cost to run a business. Just smaller than a size 9. Uh, skull pennies are still on the website. Oop. Well, they should be. These guys, they're still there. I think so. Uh, you just bought one. Let me get to that for you. You said just smaller than a size nine, 1990. Let me find it. set this aside so it stays nice take a look at your quarter sir I'm gonna take a drink real quick how do I make them you're about to see we're gonna go through the whole process the so first thing we gotta do is punch a hole in it Let's 
zoom out a little bit. Make uh, rings out of spoons. Nice. I actually just got this today in the mail. Do you know what? Do you know what this is? I just got this. I'm super excited to use it. But I have to make all these orders first, which is cool. A spoon ring bender. You just got it? How do you like it so far? I haven't even got to test mine out. I've been wanting one for a couple months. I was finally like, all right, let's pull the trigger on that. I don't know how on brand it's going to be coinringmaker.com selling spoon rings, but I'm going to give it a try. I think it's going to be fun. I did two with just like a hammer and a mandrel. And one of them actually came out really nice. Let me show you. So this is my first try at a spoon ring and I just did this with a hammer and a mandrel and like it's probably the spoon detail that makes it look so cool but like I'm really blown away by it so I'm pretty excited to make some more of these unfortunately I can't figure out how to get like multiple spoons of the same design that I like like, where do you go to, to order, like, five or ten of the same kind of spoon? So I just have a bunch of different designs. Goodwill and Antique Shops. I haven't tried them yet. I've got most of my stuff on eBay. Thrift stores. Estate sales. You guys are on it. All good ideas. It's like trying to buy a, a full-on silverware set. Like straight up, brand new. Whew. prices will scare you. If I'm going too fast for you, let me slow down. I'll take a look at this at each stage here. Pretty good. Well, if you guys haven't followed me yet, please consider giving me a follow. Facebook Marketplace. That sounds like a good idea. 
you said you want this like like a eight and three quarters, like just under a size nine. Is that correct? That'll be about nine and a quarter right there. We got it nine and a half right now. So we'll go a little smaller. We'll get a better look for you guys. Here we go. Get you up in there. Actually, I'll flip it over again. That's an eight and a half. Pump it up a little bit. zoom in on that there we go eight and one two three quarters right there perfect looks good man thank you So the copper quarter coin rings are $20. Uh, they can turn your fingers green though, because they're made of copper. That's just kind of a property of copper. If you're worried about that, you can get a 90% silver quarter coin ring. They're $100. And I also have some other rings uh, on my website as well. There's like 40 different uh, rings. Uh, you can find them by tapping this gold chain down here at the bottom of the screen. And if you don't have that, you can tap my logo up here and then the link of my profile. And you should be able to find my store link that way. And uh, you can hop over there during the live. You'll still hear me talking and banging on stuff as long as you go through uh, my logo and the link in my profile. Right? I think it's I think it's really cool to get to watch your jewelry get made. So if anyone else wants to uh, do that... You can hop over to the website, order a ring, and we'll get to work on it. Let me see if anybody's got anything. So this is kind of like um, how it's made meets like home shopping network, right? So like you can watch your thing get made after you order it. I think that's a pretty cool like idea for a TikTok live. Yeah, you can check out the website and still listen if you go through my profile. It's it's pretty cool. And uh for joining me here on this live just to give you a little bit more encouragement, you can use the coupon code welcome and that'll save you ten percent off anything you want to get. And like I said, if you order something, I'll make it for you. See, the problem with making TikToks that have high-quality content is they don't do well. Um, so I really have to try and keep it to, like, very short-form kind of grab your attention and make you go, like, what's going on here stuff, because that just works better. Um, I've tried to do more educational stuff, and it just kind of flops. Like, no one ever sees it. Uh, so... I, I've just kind of developed my own kind of funky style of grabbing people's attention. And then once once I've got their attention, I'll bring them into the live and they can actually see the step-by-step -step process.
If you'd like to see longer form content videos that I do make, you can check out my YouTube though. Uh, if you go to my profile, there's a giveaway going on right now where if you tag some people on that giveaway video and then go subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, you'll be entered in to win a $100 gift card as soon as I hit 5,000 subscribers. So if anyone's interested in that, um, a little bonus for subscribing there. How's it going, man? Uh, we just got done making this 1990 quarter coin ring. Came out really good. And now I'm just kind of pitching, honestly. <laughs> like, uh, So if anybody wants to see a coin ring get made, wants to order something, uh, we can get to work on it. also made the South Dakota one. It's got these like wheat grains on it on the side. I really like those. And then just something about the text on the New Mexico one. Like it's really, really, it just looks really good. I don't know. I made this one too. We've been pretty busy on the live so far making some rings. There's a Connecticut one too. So yeah, that one's itty bitty. If anybody has any questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the chat. I'm just gonna take a little break to catch my breath. Uh, if you want to go visit the website, you can see how much my rings are there and all the different types of rings I make. Eventually, I'll be melting down my scrap. Uh, so far, I don't have the equipment to do that. So I just kind of save it in little tubs. Uh, you can find my website by tapping the logo at the top of the screen and the link in my bio or the gold chain at the bottom of the screen. You can also use the coupon code WELCOME. Uh, since you joined me here on my TikTok Live, I'm sorry you haven't got to see me make anything yet, but we did just make all four of these rings on this live so far. Let's see. What is it? What are you talking about? I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank, man. Can you be more specific? Do I have a copper one to make? Yeah, I, I've got um, copper and silver all states. Well, not silver in all states, but like 40 of them. I'm slowly getting all 50 uh, silver quarters. That's tricky business. I'm not going to lie to you. That's It's tough. I do have a Susan B. Anthony I have to make. So we could do that. Nice. There's our Susan B. Anthony. He said he wants 1979s. So that's what we're going to do. We'll put these up so they stay nice. And we'll punch a hole in this sucker.
I can't guarantee that I'll be on live tomorrow. My live schedule is really wishy washy. Uh, you can get a quarter coin ring, a copper one for 20 bucks. I don't think that's too crazy expensive. If you want to get a 90% silver one, they're $100. A little more expensive, but it's a really nice ring. You can see all my prices by tapping my logo and visiting the link on my profile. And now we're going to put this in here and punch a hole in it. Yeah, you can pick a state. They aren't just like random stay quarters that I send out. Like, no, people people pick what they want. So this thing's really cool. There's like a cone shape in here. So as we tighten this down, it's going to center this coin automatically. Even if it was like way off, it would still center it. It's a really cool center punch. Thank you. Nothing better than a happy customer. I love it. I think this has a really cool center punch. You actually get a little bit of the moon on the top there. It's a good one. I make them into keychains. So if you visit my store, there's an option on most of the ring listings that says package, and you can add a center punch keychain with your ring when you order if you'd like to do that. I don't have a, a finished bicentennial on me currently. Uh, I sold all the ones I made. Um, I do have bicentennial quarters. I can show you what that looks like, but I don't have a finished ring on hand. Most of what I make is is uh, made to order. So usually people get it with the the date on the outside, just so you get the 1776 and the 1976 on there. There is some nice detail on the outside here. You do get a bit of this like ring of stars and flame, but like, what I do is I'll take the center punch, right? And I can kind of put it in the middle here and that kind of shows you what detail will be on the ring. Does that make sense? So you get his hat, but his face gets cut off. Stuff like that. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Good evening. So after punching a hole in the center of the coin, this inside edge is actually quite uh, sharp. Sure, I appreciate it, thank you. Don't, for, don't forget to use the coupon code WELCOME. You earned it. You can save 10% on your order. In here asking good questions. Good vibes. I appreciate it. This is called a deburring tool. Uh, you can get it at a hardware store and uh, 
plumbing section. It's commonly used to clean up uh, like pipe that has like sharp bits on the end of it, but it's perfect for cleaning up the inside of punch coins. It's super useful. If I had to do this with like sandpaper or something, I would probably scratch up the coin detail. So this is a, a much better method. This is going to be interesting because this is kind of a, uh, it's a funny shaped coin. I haven't made a lot of these. So we're going to see what, what works. He wants the date on the outside, so we're going to put that face down in here. And this is called a doming block. Put a ball bearing on top and just kind of fold it a little bit. See? Sorry, excuse me. My goodness. I'm just knocking things over. Squish. Yeah. So we didn't get a super big fold on this. So we're going to fold it some more. Get ourselves a bigger die here. See if that'll fit there. Yeah, that looks good. Get this tool I just knocked across my desk. It folded really nicely. Cool. So this is gonna be a 10 and a half. Knocked it over again. We're going to sand that cut edge. Get it nice and shiny. And we're just going to stretch this out just a little bit. Looking pretty cool. I got butterfingers all of a sudden. It's no bueno. Now we got it stretched out really nicely. So let's make it a little smaller. Let's see what size we're at. 11 and a half. I'm not gonna lie, that took a little force. That's tough. Whew. And it's just about a nine and a half. Thank you. Oh man, when I first started, 
I was a bit of a collector myself and like getting into silver and stuff was really tough for me to break through, but now I don't even blink an eye. They made so many coins, I, I barely make a dent. Yeah, uh, this is actually a dollar. This is a uh, Susan B. Anthony dollar. Let's see if it says on the inside here. One dollar. Also done peace dollars. It says peace on the inside here. Somewhere. There it is. Peace. And here's a Morgan dollar. And this is an unfinished Walking Liberty half dollar. So usually they're a lot straighter than this, but this one got canceled at the last minute, so I didn't finish it. Oh, that's Sacagawea. Or presidential. They made a bunch of presidential gold dollars, too. if we can get this right this time. Yeah, um, a lot of people have, it's, it's really interesting how much, like, allergies to metals varies from person to person. Like, different people have different tolerances to different metals. Uh, that's one reason I, I started offering silver, is because some people just can't wear copper. But some people don't mind, so it's kind of a win-win to offer both. Slowly getting there. Yeah, if, if you have a nickel allergy... Mm, excuse, let me take a drink real quick. If you have a nickel allergy, a uh, copper clad quarter is probably not good. But like a 90% um, with 10% copper would probably be okay. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but the edges of this ring are just slightly uneven. This one is out just a little bit more than this one. So I'm going to show you a trick. Put it on a die with the skinny side facing up. We're going to get our folding cone and put it in there. And we're just going to slowly push down on this until those sides are even. And that's something I figured out all by myself. Yeah, if, uh, if you get sent a ring that's the wrong size, I'll resize it for free. I do recommend that you get your finger sized at a jewelry store before ordering so that we can have an accurate idea of what ring size you need. Uh, it should be free, shouldn't take very long, and that way your ring will show up the right size. That came out really cool. I think you'll like that. So somebody asked me if they could trade me um, like a wooden flag display. 
uh, for one of these Susan B. Anthony rings. And I was like, yeah, that sounds awesome. So this is going to be his. I think he's really going to like it. And I'm looking forward to getting uh, that wooden flag. That should be really cool. My wife's excited about it. He, he initially offered to do an American flag, but my wife was like, no, we need to get a Texas one. <laughs> so that's what we did. These are 65. Uh, Susan B. Anthony. Copper clad quarter coin ring. They're pretty. Check and see if we've got any orders that have come in. If I knew where my old pure silver quarters was, I'd send them to you. Well, uh, they're just going to be 90%. Uh, they only started making the 99.99 silvers, silver quarters. Uh, was that in 2021? They switched from 90%. I think that's right. And there's only two quarters in that set. <laughs> I still haven't got a 2022 quarter. I've been looking and looking. Uh, 60, 64 and earlier is 90% silver. All the way back to like seated Liberty, standing Liberty. It's, it's all 90% silver. Call it coin silver. Or, yeah. How's it going? We just finished this Susan B. Anthony dollar coin ring. I think it came out really cool. Yeah. I mean, it's still silver. It's still worth something. It's just 90%. There's 10% uh, copper. Because if it was 100% silver, the coins would be really soft. So that's what, like, American Eagles are made of. I've got one of them over here. So that's what this is made of. This is basically pure. I've got one of them over here. So that's what this is made of. This is basically pure silver. And it's uh, really soft. So the detail comes off a lot quicker than like 90% silver. So it just makes the coins a little tougher. Do I polish them? Yeah, they're going to go in a tumbler, and they're going to be hand-polished. Uh, this is just kind of the rough cut right here of a finished, like, sized and shaped ring. Uh, I usually don't show the tumbling just because it's a, it's a loud machine. <laughs> uh, is yours done? Did you have Maine? I think I remember that right. What, what state was yours? It should be done, but I'm not sure if I packaged it or not. Can you purposely max stretch out one so we can see? I can show you what it looks like. So that's what happens when you stretch it too far without annealing it or... Um, properly sanding this cut edge. See how this cut edge is all rough and scratched up? I forgot to sand it, and when I started stretching it, like one of those cracks just expanded and went all the way through. Oh, uh, this is also an example of a bicentennial quarter coin ring. I know somebody was asking. Not the best example, but is it is an example. I could start a heart. Yeah, I need to start on my Valentine's Day stuff. That's probably what I'm going to work on after I finish... Uh, doing this live is I'm going to start playing with Valentine's Day stuff. I actually got this really cool disc cutter in the mail today. It's got all these different size hearts. So I'm going to be experimenting with that here relatively soon. I'm pretty excited about it.
So, uh, if you haven't followed me yet, please consider giving me a follow. We're at a little bit of a lull here. I just finished making almost all the coin rings I need to. So, if you want to hop over to the website and see if there's something there you'd like to get, I can make it for you on this live. And you can use the coupon code WELCOME to save 10%. And you can get there by tapping the logo at the top of the screen and then the link in my profile. Or the gold chain at the bottom of the screen. Uh, I'm not sure about the prices yet. Like I said, I haven't started messing with this, so I'm going to have to figure out how it works before I, I know what it's going to cost. Uh, I haven't done any gold yet. It's one of the things on my bucket list this year. I guess to-do list. Uh, want to-do list. Ordered a keychain and a wing about a week ago. So it should be in the mail. Yeah, that should be uh, shipped and in the mail already. It should be on its way. Because everything I have here is just rings. Uh, just to uh, U.S. currency. Yeah, that sh that should be in the mail already. I usually I usually only take like a day or two. Yeah. See, I know I remembered you. Let me see here. That's definitely in the mail already. Kimberly. Yeah. Yeah, that's been shipped. Yeah, just a U.S. currency. I do quarters, half dollars, uh, dollars, American Eagles. I've even got a dime I need to do that I'm kind of putting off. But I guess I should go ahead and make that. Well, I, there's nothing better I like more than a return customer. So, <laughs> I do appreciate it. Thank you. I guess we'll make this dime. So the reason I'm putting this off is uh, this has to be a size 7, which is actually really tricky to do with a coin this size. So I've actually reduced the max size for this ring down to a size 6 because I don't want to do it anymore. Uh, the problem with powder coating is some of, like, it, it can be toxic. So I haven't messed with it too much. There's some weird legal issues around uh, powder coating rings. So I, I haven't messed with it too much. I have seen other people do it, but I am a little cautious um, because because of that. Like, not all powder coats are toxic, but there are some that are. Um, so I, I've just avoided it completely up to this point. I did uh, play a little bit with enamel, but I didn't like the results. It didn't come out looking really good. So I, I kind of gave up on it. Uh, I'm about to make this into a ring. I'm just taking a quick minute to catch my breath, and then we'll get started on this. Yeah, these are super sensitive, because you can see they're very thin. So once you get a split, it's done. Uh, it's going to be a size 7, so I think they're just, it's like a woman's, uh, yeah, it's going to be small. I mean, it's already pretty roughed up. Like, luckily, the, the center part won't be on the ring, but the outside detail is actually really good. It's, like, perfect for a coin ring. So we're going to get this set up over here.
it's a lot of work. Say, don't worry, I've got more dimes. It'll be okay. It's not my last one. There's plenty more to go around. So Seth, like you said, you uh, you didn't sell a bunch and, and you kind of got burnt out. Like, n I'm not trying to be a, a rude or offensive or anything, but thanks to people like giving up on coin ring making, I was actually able to get the the tools I needed secondhand from them. And so, like without that, I, I wouldn't have been able to uh, like get to where I am today. So. on the shoulders of those who quit. Do this a little free hand here. Okay, so this is a 12 ton hydraulic press. It's a little bit like overkill for this dime, but uh, I don't like to use a hammer on this punch because it's really nice. Yeah, I love I love a good deal. Yep, yeah. Go find that punch. Little bit of coin silver there. Yeah, I started with just a, a hammer and a mandrel banging stuff out. Drove my wife crazy. She called it banging and clanging. Yeah, same thing with estate sales. Like, I really like estate sales, but it is a little sad that, you know, I mean, it's it's circle of life. It is what it is. And I'm sure people would rather see their stuff go to use than, like, get just thrown away. Right? I lost my hammer. That's no bueno. It's on the floor. <laughs> he doesn't like it. <laughs> oh no. Offended another coin collector. <laughs> Look at my hand. <laughs> Good evening. That's, that's one thing I'm definitely not. I'm not super organized. My desk is a constant mess and collection of tools that I've just set down with no real strategy. You can't make me look, Mom. Aw. They're cool, though. They're cool. <laughs> See, I usually went over the coin collectors in the end. If you watch enough of my stuff, you'll grow to like it. Alright, so what this is, this is a Mercury Dime from 1944. And we are slowly turning this into a ring. I gotta be really careful. This band is super thin. 
really tricky ring to make. Uh-oh. Yeah, the peace doll. They come out really nice, though. They're one of my favorite rings. But yeah, people can be a little touchy about the Morgans and the peace dollars. Thank you. I think so. I think it's pretty cool. There is a law about altering uh, currency. Uh, you can learn more about it. There's a blog post on my website. The key term in the law is fraudulently. So as long as you're not fraudulently altering currency, you're 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 kind of in the graces of the law. There's even a little section at the bottom of it that says, like, while the mint does discourage after mint alteration of currency, it's not illegal but not a lot of people get to that part. And that's basically talking about like colorized coins and stuff like that. I usually reference uh, penny smashers. So I think most people have seen them. So far, so good. Itty bitty little thing. set this up the best I can. Use a different ring stretcher here, so hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing. here between the ring stretcher and the ring and that's going to reduce metal on metal contact it's going to help us keep the detail on the coin real nice and it just takes a little longer but that's okay should bolt this down. And go ahead and 
and size it and cry about how far away I am from what it needs to be. So right now it's just under size four. Got to get it to a size seven. Some rough stuff, guys. Nice. Do you have the same ring stretcher? It's not a cheap thing, man. That was <laughs> quite an investment. Nice. I'm excited for you. I'm glad you're getting started in this, man. That's cool. A whole dollar and a half. Go you. How'd they come out? Yeah, this one I move around a bunch. And then my, my cheap Chinese one over here. You can see just out of the edge of the frame. That one's bolted down. But the top of this one's smaller, so I can do tiny coins with it. So that's why I'm using it right now. Got it at a four and a half. Come on, man. Just be a just be a seven already. Big whopping size seven. It's too much for a dime. It's just too much. Nice. Yeah, you definitely have to make a couple wonky ones before you figure it out. Ooh, we went past the pad. Size five. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. I I don't recommend it. I much prefer quarters, half dollars, and dollars. Dimes and pennies are are pretty rough. Like a size four dime's not too bad. Size seven is a headache. And I don't even mess with pennies because when I did sell penny rings, everyone wanted them from like the 90s, 2000s. Those are all zinc. They don't make good rings. You gotta go like pre 80s. And even then they're they're tough. Like it's wild how much longer it takes to make a tiny ring than it does to make like a quarter ring. But I've had a lot of practice with quarters. So I can make them pretty quick. These take a lot of Care and attention. Just over a size six. Sorry if I'm missing any chat. I really gotta focus on what I'm doing so I don't bust it. It's 
still not big enough. Lord. Let's go. If you guys haven't followed me yet, please consider giving me a follow. And if you'd like to get some coin jewelry made by me, you can tap the logo at the top of the screen, visit the link on my profile. Right out of size seven. Nice. Let's go over here and clean it up. See what I missed. I usually like to do um, like a blue shop towel, but I ran out of those. But the paper towel works too, and it helps keep the detail on there, and it reduces the chance of the ring splitting. Yeah. Let me see if I missed anything else. Looks like we're pretty well caught up. Do a little flattening. Doo, doo, doo. No, just US currency at this time. I have seen a lot of really neat Irish rings though, made from coins. Like there's definitely possibility there. Oh yeah, I've done a bunch of half dollars. Let me see here. So this is a Walking Liberty half dollar. This one's unfinished, so it would have uh, like an even flat wall when you get it, but this one just needs to be sized. They're pretty cool. Thank you. Say so just some of them? I'm just kidding. No, I appreciate it. Thank you. So this is probably my favorite part, is when you've got a 90% silver ring like this. It's got all this fire scale on it. It looks real dull. And we take a little bit of steel wool, and we just start knocking that off and bringing the silver back to life. This is just like, this is, I don't know, it's really satisfying. Do a little bit of the inside. The little box with my logo is so cute. I agree. I think it's a nice little touch. Uh, the smallest size I can make is probably around a size four. What size do you need? Size five. Yeah, I can do that. Get a nice close look at this puppy. Try and get the year. That's not the year, that's the year. There we go. Cool. So I actually had to remake this one. I don't often do a lot of remakes. But this one I had to do twice. Give you a little spin. And this will get polished before I send it out, but I think it looks pretty cool.
Yeah, that looks good. All right, I'm gonna check and see if we've got any more orders in. If anyone would like to see a coin ring get made, now's the time to hop over to the website and order something. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I can show you what it looks like. So that's what it looks like when one snaps. And it is, it's not a great feeling. So I try to avoid it. <laughs> but sometimes I get in a hurry. And that's when you make mistakes. Uh, did you, what, which one did you order? Let me see. Oh, yeah. I actually have yours. I'm so sorry. I just, I worked on it during the live. Uh, you'll be able to watch this live on my YouTube channel. It should be uploaded in the, in the next two days. So you can watch this get made. But this is your ring, sir. I think it came out really great. Really cool. Show you how tiny this dime ring is in comparison. Yeah, I really like it. Like, it looks even better than the one that I was showing you. This is the one I had made and was showing off, and this one looks even better. There's 65 for the um, Susan B. Anthony, and these I probably need to raise the price on. They're 35 right now, but they're a lot of work. I'm glad you like it, man. Well, I'm going to have to hop off of here. Uh, if you guys want to go check out my website store, it's coinringmaker.com. You can find it on my profile. And you can use the coupon code WELCOME to save 10% off anything you decide to order. I do appreciate y'all stopping by, but I've been on here for a couple hours, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a break. Uh, y'all go check out my page. Lots of cool videos there. Check out my website, see what I make, and um, have a great day. We'll see you later.